Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. No upset. Stomachs, but also life. The counter secret police cover operation, mission eight. This path looks a little bit more manageable, <laughs> at least. You got this, Anya, we all believe in you. I'm studying hard. Three thirds. Quite wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say saved by the bell, except everyone just sort of lingered there awkwardly, <laughs> staring at her. Poor Anya. Absolutely crushing it. Yeah, but she's also gonna receive seven demerits in that same time. She's gonna maximize the number of points in both directions. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, moving in. Twilight's not the only one working, working for this war. <laughs> Ooh, it's the V-Nex for me. At Dor's workplace, no less. Getting close. It's pretty close to home, no? Oh, your. Oh, this woman again. Glad you took the time off from throwing lasagna at people to ruin our conversation. Oh, how do you forget that? Really? It's <laughs> like a huge oversight. Oh, but he is. Oh, he's got uh, arm and hair. <laughs> Black arm and hair. What's wrong with that? Tell them nothing. What's that quote from, from Goodfellas? Say nothing and never rat on your friends. Yeah, we've had a lot of the family aspect of Spy X Family. Not a lot of the war stuff, but there are going to be villains, right? There are going to be antagonists, you figure, right? Imagine evil Anya. Aww. Wait, this is going to... Is this yours brother? This is yours brother, isn't it? It is. Yikes. That is complicated. <laughs> I get the feeling that he's not. I get the feeling that he's he's not what he appears. No, but... No. People can disconnect, you know? You can be the sweetest person on the outside and do really horrible things, depending on what your beliefs are. If you're someone who really believes your cause is right, or are just someone who really believes in authority, it's possible to separate. It depends on how you see other people. If you, you know, see people as evil and, you know, being a threat to your safety or your family's safety or whatever the case may be, you can compartmentalize it in a way that I feel like might become horrifying later, but might be perfectly passable in the moment. Contempt takes you pretty much all the way there, which is why I think it's important to push back on anything that uses contempt as a tool of persuasion. But I get the feeling Yuri Kun is not as sweet as his appearance might let on. It's the Phoenix for me. Intimidating and sexy. Here we go. Yeah. Speaking of sister obsessed. Yeah. Can't for the life of me imagine any complications that would arise in this scenario. Oh, we got you. We got photos. We got you on tape. They couldn't have shown him those photos before they beat the living hell out of him? Did they just do that for fun? No, he just wanted to see the guy's hands get torched with cigarettes. Just how sick and twisted is Yuri Breyer, really. Right, they all know about Twilight. It's closer than you think, Yuri. Oh, no, no, no. No. Didn't answer him. Just ask somebody new. <laughs> A noble goal. Oh. He doesn't seem like the type. There's a line both directions in that relationship. And he puts a glove on. And here we go. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Making him eat the cigarettes that burned his hand. Yeah, he's convicted. He's convicted. Yeah, maybe it's for uh, for your, his connection, his conviction. I, for one, believe what he's saying. 
So we gonna say nothing and never ratting out your friends? Well, that definitely puts them on a collision course, doesn't it? And from multiple directions, too. I, so much just got unraveled just now. You got the cross slide between you and her brother, and obviously the danger of the secret police. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me to, to ask before. I could be wrong, but Lloyd is in enemy territory right now, right? This is not his country. Also, in a way, makes him counter to your, although your doesn't seem to have skin in the, the political game. But why do I feel like them watching this is foreshadowing? It's all starting to add up. Like, it's kind of terrifying how the pieces are there. This is really close to home. Pursuing your resilience. You know what? She focuses on what she needs. You don't even know. You don't even know the beginning of it. No idea. Right, the, that. You don't even know the, the least of it. He's a sharp guy. What is a lovely dovey couple accessory? Oh. So you gotta hide the fact you have separate bedrooms. Although Anya's gonna know. Anya's gonna know his whole thing. Maybe her sleeping is a convenient way out of that. It's a little bit much. <laughs> that is a bouquet, for real. Maybe they were right about him being too into his sister. <laughs> I love how this is, this is working on so many different levels at once. Spy X family. Strikes again. Yeah, but in this case, the secrets go deeper than most. Yeah, I'm sure that'll last. <laughs> I'm sure this, all these fake smiles are, are going to be effective in avoiding this conflict. About the hidden life thing. Speaking just for myself and not the show, because this is not the scale that I deal with things. I, of course, pick my moments and don't share everything with everyone, but I don't feel like there's a dark part of myself that I'm hiding. Which doesn't mean I don't have incredible darkness. I have a lot of it. Like, a lot of darkness. But I think that realization, that truth, sort of undermines the other things a little bit and makes them less threatening. It's kind of essential for me, I think, in my life that I have people with which I do trust that I can. I don't think there's anything that I have that I'm aware of, at least that I can't talk about with someone. And actually, that's something that feels really good. You know, it feels really good to be able to talk about things that are dark and things that I'm afraid of. I feel like to not be able to do that means there's a, a bigger lie happening that's not to other people. It, it's a sort of self-delusion that you can you can get away with things or that the question of how to live a good life comes in sort of game playing, but there's a, there's a karma to all of that. It unravels. You know, we're not as good as, at lying as we think we are and we're not as good at navigating and strategizing the world as we think we are. The world will just hand you your ass, you know, if you think you're gonna, you're gonna win in a way that's not grounded grounded to what actual goodness is in the way that life and humanity is structured. That's, I think, largely the purpose of the show is just to test the implications of actions in sort of a safe environment in a very compressed manner where we can observe and sort of extract. And there are certain things that just feel right and certain things that just feel intuitively wrong. And the knowledge of that partly comes from experience, but some of that I think is just ingrained. You know, it's just trial and error and evolution and the fact that you can't escape your connection to what the universe is and what the reality of human life is or animal life is. There's a real freedom and importance in truth. And it's a it's a bigger concept than I even know how to articulate. Being connected to the truth means being connected to what is actually going on, what is actually occurring. And if you want to operate successfully, you almost can't do that long term reliably by ignoring the way things really are. And so by not being first self honest and then as an extension of that honest with other people, you're immediately putting feedback into the world that is based on artifice that that comes back to you whether you realize it or not. And you've gotten farther away from alignment and you've gotten farther away from knowing how to operate. <laughs> they already know. See, they already know something. There's so many levels of things going on at the same time. So many layers. Just like always. Spy X family. Family conflict. Spy conflict at every level. This is lies. This is lies all the way down. They're crazy if they think this isn't going to create some kind of in insane drama and pain. Someone's going to die. There's going to be a lot of upset. It's going to break its fundamental law as a show. Compensating much? I'm going to make these flowers so big, nobody will ask any questions. Hiding a lie with a little bit of truth. They give Anya a lot of trust. Oh, like, I mean, they don't know that she can read their minds, but they air out a lot of stuff in front of her. Like, a whole lot of stuff. Nailed it. She's so confident. She's so happy with her answer. I forgot that I... How many dishes is he gonna... Okay. 
Okay. That makes sense. Part of it is a desire to believe. It's hard to accept people you love would have darkness involving you. Your mind just skips over it. Who's going to be delicious? <laughs> Battle outcome. <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd's cooking wins. I bet he's a, yeah, he's immune to alcohol, isn't he? It's part of his training, but it might be a good idea to pretend to be a little bit drunk. Right into the interrogation. Taking his work home with him. It's not a I wonder why. Really? <laughs> he just made this whole thing himself, spiraling into a nightmare of his own creation. Yeah, he needs a girlfriend. You should find yourself a wife. You think you're gonna win me over with this water? <laughs> just because he's amazing in every possible way. Perfect. Doesn't mean he's good for my sister. I love he's defeating himself. <laughs> That's what they have that in common. Runs in the family. Little praise, little compliments. Your loves you, your loves you. Oh, oh, oh you gotta be careful. Is this intentional or, or is this a slip up? Okay. I feel like it would add to the conflict if, if I knew more about the, the world and where exactly Lloyd is from. I know he's in enemy territory, but there's a little bit of a danger to talking about the past and experiences, right? Especially if it's this specific. You gotta be really careful to make sure it all matches your cover story perfectly. Nice. Lloyd's playing this real well. So far. Oh. Oh! Ooh! He really knows his stuff. This guy's like an encyclopedia. Wow! This really backfired for Yuri, so far. This is powerful information to have. And he's gonna use it strategically. Damn, he's good! I knew he was good, I didn't realize he was this good. I was thinking he was leading himself into trouble, talking about locations, but no, it's the opposite, he had me fooled too. But is that really gonna be that simple? I mean, he does seem a little bit too emotionally compromised. Oh! When did she start? Money! Oh. <laughs> Money makes everything okay. It's for our family. Ooh, I feel like yours. Backstory is gonna be dark. That should be obvious, but more dark than I thought. She doesn't actually work herself to death. She works other people to death. I mean, you're already barely talking. You need to take it down like eight notches. Now he's just adopting Lloydie. She wants to believe it though. He's not lying. It's not a lie though. It's just not coming totally from the place he's making it seem it comes from. But in classic Spy X Family fashion, that's not all it is. He's a genuinely great guy. I mean, it's both at the same time. And it's going to keep shifting more towards one than the other. Likely until the point where there's conflict between the two. And at that point, I think I know which one he's going to choose. Oh, a little towel there. Ooh. No, 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 no. Yikes. Ouch. Where is this going? <laughs> what do you want to see exactly? This is going to get creepy real quick. Yeah, I knew it. Only people who are trying to hide a lie would even go down this road and, and entertain this idea because they're worked up about having to prove it. If they had confidence in the fact that they were intimate, there would be no reason to try to prove it. It's a kiss gamble. <laughs> what would Erwin say? Try to, try to, you know, 
act like you've done it before, maybe? Instead of screaming? <laughs> We're trying to hide the fact- Okay, it's a big deal. I get it. First kiss as a married couple after you've been married for a year. This episode is interesting in that it's, I think, one of the first ones that doesn't focus solely on Anya. We were going real deep into her school life, and then this episode was kind of a, a huge twist, having connections to the secret police, having so many different and varying connecting angles of lies, just everyone lying on some level, individually and as pairs. It's pretty great writing for for tension, because there's just so much that can come out at any time. The handholding thing was, was pretty genius, because yeah, you can lie about facts, right? You can lie about details. The things that go deeper than cognition are going to be tough. That was an instinctual reaction. What's sort of crazy about the show and makes me not know what to expect is that this is the show of no upset, right? This is a show that deals with, you know, some pretty high level things. You know, there's a war, there are spies, she's an assassin, but it's able to maintain a, a sort of levity about it to the point where I kind of expect that from the show. But the way things are being set up, I feel like there's actually a lot of potential for, for real tragedy because you have these bonds that are so special to the characters that are in grave physical danger. If things go wrong, your brother could die. Lloyd could die. Yor could be asked to kill Lloyd. There's just so many possibilities for things to go horribly wrong. Curious which direction the show is going to go. I mean, I feel like all of that's going to come up in some capacity. The show has clearly laid the groundwork for the conflict between the characters. How do you do this show? How do you do this premise and follow these plot lines in a way that isn't horrific? That's going to be really interesting to watch.